the natural incarnated Earth humans, Earth-bound inhabitants, reached a critical mass point of calling for assistance on a spiritual level. Many were religious groups, many were in a state of suffering and had experienced loss, therefore looked to the stars and the skies in complete surrender. The minority few were aware and awake, making conscious intentions to add their wide-reaching light to the critical mass point we speak of. Hence the call was made, and the Overseers of Earth, the groups you know as Galactic Federation, Council of Light, Angelic Hierarchy, the Oversoul, Logos, Sphere Beings, that through pure consciousness, pure thought, absolute telepathy, projected the call into all and every dimension, planetary system and star. Indeed, that call was heard, and Starseed, in service, answered that call. They came from many places, many spaces, many times. All were from your future, if you will, for the higher dimensions outside of linear time project into a space that is further evolved than the third density time space of Earth. From Sirius they came, with warrior blood, the royal houses of Sirius, their brightest and best, holding the indigo seal, the crystal light, the golden auras. The princes, princesses, kings and queens of the royal line, descending into the third density time-space field, incarnating as human on Earth. Memory fields intact, but dormant, with triggers in place within their blueprint. Yet the fabric of the third density had to be experienced, and the volunteers knew they could lose themselves within that fabric and revert into the soul space of the earthbound inhabitants, having to redo that which had already been done for them. Such is the cycle, entered into through the emotional field. Yet still, in surrender and service, the royal bloodlines of Sirius gave of themselves to this task, knowing their children were bound on Earth. The only hope of moving Earth and humanity into its rightful place of freedom was an influx of starseeds from the royal houses, and they incarnated in their thousands, in their millions. The more the starseed vibrations entered Earth's atmospheric field, the more it paved the way for yet more children of the light. From the Pleiades they came, with a strong emotional field. Natural antennas linked to source, high resonance within the memory fields. The royal houses of the Pleiades. Yet in order to strengthen the memory fields, the incarnation started from before the critical mass point, from before the call. So that the integration into the third density time space was complete and absolute. Again, the Pleiadian starseeds knew of the earthbound inhabitants and the fabric of the third density. Yet still they came forth, in service, in love, as fully polarised Pleiadian royal house members and affiliates, they came forth. Many with direct telepathic links to the Arcturian consciousness, bringing the Arcturian energy with them. From Lyra they came, the sensitives, the channels, the deeply emotional yet rational body-mind complexes of the Lyran royal houses. So needed within third density Earth, they came in, not in disguise, but fully human, experienced just as those on Earth had done, living through the same experiences, the same karmas, walking the same paths, living the same story. For the incarnational portal is not an invasive one, but an inclusive one and no treaty, law or protocol is breached when the extraterrestrial energy is in human form from birth. Not to be known as any different until the broadcast begins en masse. And when that occurs, set for the 2012 point, 
With Earth years stretching either side of that 2012 point, the incarnations will be spread across the entire globe, impossible to pinpoint. Their light shall be everywhere, and incarnational portals shall be in abundance across the Earth. The royal houses from many planetary systems did come, and this activated the portals of rainbow light. The spectrum of the God particles opened, creating a potential field of knowing in all humans, star-seeded and earthbound alike. And as the rainbow ray influx occurred, the indigo ray, the golden ray, the silver ray, the blue ray and the divine feminine rose ray magenta ray. There began to be earthbound humans becoming star-seeded humans as they changed the geometries of their matrix fields and created blueprints from the human incarnated perspective. Never before had such been seen within groups across such large physical placement upon your earth before. Whilst many starseeds of the royal line became embroiled and indeed lost within the third density fabric of Earth, reverting back to where they once had been before, many earthbound humans were freed and are at this very point in time being welcomed within the royal houses upon their newly created home planets and dimensions, bridging the gap between starseed and earthbound releasing boundaries, creating choice, as is so the case within your year of 2016. It is the individual's choice if they should be starseed or earthbound. For every matrix field within every human and animal entity on planet Earth holds the geometric fields of true source memory, as it should be and as it is willed to be so. For all and every consciousness structure holds the blueprint of source. And this can be cut off no longer. Humanity can be earthbound no longer. And so we, you, us, them, all come to a juncture in time where the veils are to be lifted upon the truth of your existence where you choose love over fear, joy over despair, and unity over separation, through individualization and sovereignty. Those veils shall be lifted and you shall know the truth. And your choice to be fully realized galactic soul or earthbound human shall be made. They came from other dimensions, with planetary systems unknown and uncategorized by Earth, through the Andromeda systems and the many Andromeda gateways, now open, activated and available for humanity upon the astral levels. They came from the harmonic frequencies within the dimensions, opening portals to the elemental realms, memory keys flooding in from Atlantis, Lemuria and other ancient civilizations. And now, in your year of 2016, the rainbow light fills the planet and Earth shines like a beacon within etheric hyperspace. The elemental memory fields spring up into your consciousness to create the growing of your wings. The Pleiadian, Lyran, Arcturian, Andromedan and Syrian memory fields spring up into your consciousness to create the royal robes, the violet cloaks of invisibility and golden jeweled crowns, the swords and shields for the warriors, the crystal balls for the divinators, the crystal generators for the wizards of space and time who manage the vortex fields and influence weather and temperature upon earth to create healing through a service to others unified field. The memories come and the metaphors standing as alphabetical numerals within the language of light create the activations and the knowings. And each time you speak, think, write, focus, intend, meditate, view, paint, see, act, hold, hear and know 
these memories. You add to that rainbow light. You take your place as an individualized beacon, a light bearer, creating such vibrant light across your planet. The light you create is light love and love light, for it is emotional, joy, bliss, love, and intelligence, knowledge, knowing, freedom. So every creation you create, when the foundation is your memory, even when unprocessed and often especially when unprocessed, adds to that light. And thus the ultimate creation is a new dimension upon your planet and within your body-mind. A higher density, no longer the earthbound third density vibration, but a fourth density, fifth dimensional field. Indeed, a new earth and a new humanity. The call was made, the call was heard, and the call was answered. And they came, you came. We are the white-winged collective consciousness of nine.